Tagging is the heart of analyzing data on Usabit. There are two types of tags that every research project should have, segment tags and highlight tags. Segment tags are usually attributes of our users. It is what describes them, like age groups, team sizes, location, etc. Highlight tags are used to tag what the users are saying or feeling. For example, pain points, feature requests, etc. The process of creating segment tags and highlight tags on Userbit is exactly the same. So how does Userbit figure out one from the other? By looking at where the tag has been placed. If you tag a person or an interview as a whole, Userbit automatically treats that tag as a segment tag. If you highlight something in user response or notes and tag it, Userbit recognizes that tag as a highlight tag. Let's take a look at how we can assign segment tags within our project. To tag a participant with a segment tag, simply navigate to the relevant person and add the tags to the tag bar. Here we see that Sid is a suburban user between the ages of 46 and 60 and is a non-technical user. We can also add a segment tag to a person directly from their interview. Segment tags can also be added to any of the notes or files. When a note is linked to a person, the person's tags automatically get applied to the note, so you don't have to worry about manually keeping them in sync. Segment tags can also be applied to survey participants in the same way. Let's quickly talk about highlight tags. As mentioned before, highlight tags are used to tag user content. We can tag any text in an interview, in a note, or tag survey responses. Usabit also allows you to create new tags on the fly as you're looking over your data. These tags end up in the uncategorized bucket and later need to be moved to the correct category. If you already have your categories set up and want to save some time, you can create rules for new tags. Let's create a rule to see how that works. Click on Manage Rules to show the rules pop-up. Here, click on Add New Rule. We will fill out the form to say that any new tag that starts with fr colon should be added to Feature Requests category. Once the rule is added, anytime we create a new tag that starts with fr colon while tagging our data, it'll get automatically placed in the right bucket. At Userbit, we are all about helping you save time as you analyze and synthesize your data. In the next video, we'll talk about how you can significantly speed up the coding and tagging process.